Today, a new public health medicine in Dane County order took effect, requiring all county schools to begin the school year virtually for third through 12th grade. Kindergarten through second grade are allowed to have in-person instruction, but virtual learning options must be made available. Republicans are one night into their pitch to the American people. Amy Reed is live with us to give us the highlights of the first night of the Republican National Convention. All night, Republicans have talked about policies they say bettered American lives over the past four years, and they used this in their pitch saying America needs four more years of President Donald Trump. There have also been a handful of speeches that have talked about what they see as dangers of the Democratic Party, but in the last hour, speakers have focused more on the hope they see from Trump, talking about his support of everyday people rising through the American dream. Former ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley talked about her story and how America is perfect. America isn't perfect, but the principles we hold dear are perfect. There's one thing I've learned. It's that even on our worst day, we are blessed to live in America. It's time to keep that blessing alive for the next generation. This president and this party are committed. So here are the three things that you need to know about tonight. One, the law and order president. Republicans are trying to set up Trump as this. And part of that is a narrative that Democratic cities are dangerous and Joe Biden will make things worse. Number two, the silent majority. Many speaking tonight talked about how there is a silent majority behind Trump trying to drum up more support. Number three, race does not equal politics. We saw multiple people of color tonight talking about how Democrat leaders have not improved crime or neighborhoods of color and just because you fit into a certain race doesn't mean you have to fit into certain politics. They also touted Trump's policies. They say improved life for these communities, talking about tax cuts and criminal justice reform. The convention continues tomorrow and through Thursday and we'll bring you coverage all week here on News 3 Now.